News in summary with me, Fatou Kamara. The President, His Excellency, Sheikh Professor Walhaji Dr. Yahya Jame, is reaching out to countries most renowned for livestock production to expand on his crossbreeding program. The Gambian leader recently imported from Brazil a special breed of cattle, which have now been integrated successfully into his range in Farato. The Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Aja Dr. Aisha Tunjai Saidi, has addressed the United Nations General Assembly on behalf of President Jame. Madam Jai Saidi calls for new reforms at the United Nations Security Council and urge major financial institutions to open up and ensure more transparency. The Department of Fisheries, in collaboration with the Sub-Regional Fisheries Committee, have started a three-day training program for participants from member countries. The conclave seeks to expose participants to the operational use of monitoring, control, surveillance, and reporting tools for detection. Gambia International Airlines informs intending pilgrims to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that the last aircraft is scheduled to depart Banjul tomorrow, Tuesday, the 2nd of October 2012. That's uh, Tuesday morning, a media release from the national carrier urges all intending pilgrims to report to Banjul International Airport for a uh, check-in. Officials of the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs Monday revealed to the National Assembly PAC and PEC select committees of progress made on the reinforcement of the 2011 recommendations made by the committees for the financial, social, and political viability of the government and public services institutions, enterprises, and agencies. Police homicide investigators are going through hectic times probing into several cases of murder which happened during the weekend. And uh, now to news from outside the Gambia. Heavily armed African Union troops have made significant moves into the last remaining stronghold of Somalia's radical Islamist group, the Al-Shabaab. Kenyan troops say they have entered the port city of Kismayo throughout the, the western corridor of the city. And in Nigeria, an explosion has destroyed a hostel and injured at least three people. Police reported the killing of two other suspected people of carrying out the blast. The investigation panel looking into the Marikana massacre in South Africa began work on Monday. The panel is investigating the true story behind the riots and subsequent massacre of dozens of striking miners. Relatives of fallen miners went back to the scene of the massacre demanding justice. Venezuela's presidential campaign is entering its final week. President Hugo Chavez is vying for a fourth term in office that will extend his presidency for another six years. He held a massive rally Sunday in Zulia state. Meanwhile, uh, the people, people raised concern in grinding poverty. It is nothing short of a dream come true. The chance to swap Venezuelan slum for a brand new apartment completed with modern kitchen and multiple bedrooms, uh, schools and the healthcare clinics, and the cost is absolutely nothing. Well, that's all in the summary of the news. Thank you very much for your time and have a peaceful morning.